Thanks for being here, Lizzie. Thanks for having me. You're the first member of the fourth generation of Post to write a book on etiquette. How did you decide to continue what your great-great-grandmother, Emily Post, started? My dad came to me and presented me with the opportunity to do it because the Emily Post Institute needed a book that spoke to 18 to 25-year-olds. And so they thought, why not have someone who has the voice of you know, that demographic speak to them? How do you work this life thing as a guide to manners in a variety of situations? Can you give us a few examples? Oh, sure. I mean, when you're 18 and you've just moved out on your own for the first time, you know, your first month of living with new roommates and everything is usually bliss, and then all of a sudden the dish just piles up, and somebody can't make rent that month, and there are all sorts of situations that start coming up um, in your home life, and not only there, but also trying to find your first job, uh, dealing with going out, you know, to the bars, going out to eat with friends, you know, and trying to split up the bill. All those sorts of things come up in the book. So what are the four times when you've got to get it right? The first two are tipping. You always want to make sure that you tip an appropriate amount. And it takes a little while getting used to learning who you have to tip when, you know, such as a doorman who all, if all he does is open the door, do you tip or not, you know, or if he carries your bags, do you tip more? Um, but tipping is definitely a time to get it right. Another time would be when writing a thank you note. I think a lot of people forget how important the thank you note is, that it's not just a chore to do, but that this is something that can really benefit you in the long run. Think about how impressed a potential boss would be if they received a thank you note two days after having done an interview as opposed to, you know, the other applicants for the job who haven't sent thank you notes. The two times that are really important to get it right um, that are a bit more serious are when you receive a wedding invitation, learning things like if you don't have and guest written next to your name, then you cannot bring a guest. It could screw up catering, it could screw up seating arrangements, travel plans, all sorts of things. Um, the second time is when a death occurs. A lot of people aren't sure how to properly convey their condolences, what are okay things to say, what's more helpful as opposed to less helpful. Your father, Peter Post, writes regularly for the Boston Globe on the topic of etiquette at work. You also offer some job advice, but for young people, okay. how is business etiquette different for people just starting out in the business world? Well, I think that the difference is, is that they're just starting out. And the biggest thing they have to remember is that you really do have to earn respect for a company that you work for, whether it's a construction company, whether it's a retail store working on Wall Street somewhere. You need to show up every day looking the part, prepared for the part. Lizzie, thanks so much for talking with us. <laughs> Thank you for having me.